this is Peter with PM Designs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get this really nice um, sort of polar ice caps or icebergs melting kind of terrain. And it's really so, so easy to get. Um, I, I just stumbled across it by mistake, and I thought I'd share this in case anyone actually you know, wanted to do this for some reason. You can imagine some polar bear, I don't know, running across, catching dragons or whatever polar bears do. Um, so all you need is a white marble texture which is what I got I got it I got it using the blender kit asset library online asset library which is up here um, you can't see it at the moment but if I let me just see if I can find it again my internet's been a bit slow today but this thing is great if you, you can find it in your preferences um, where we go blender oops blender kit online asset library you just turn that on and then you get this little window here, or this little add-on here, which will help you to find models, pre-made models, materials, brushes. And I think this is, doesn't work because on my laptop there's 2.91, Blender 2.91, but if you have 2.93, you can also get HDRIs, I believe. So this is taking a while, so I'm just gonna show you how I got this. And I'll, I'm not actually able to take you through step by step. But yeah, so basically I got my, I got a white marble texture, which is from here. Uh, from the Blender Online Asset Library. And I just started with a plane, which is this one here. Okay, and I subdivided it a few times and I added a subdivision modifier and a displacement, but I'll come to the displacement a bit later. Um, and then I, I downloaded the white marble texture and I added it. So then we can find that in here. If I just I added a color ramp and a bump node and a displacement, but I'm just going to reset this back to how it was before I added stuff. Um, and so this is the marble texture that you get, basically. As you can see, it looks like marble. But so I added a color ramp. If you're not used to using nodes, this can be a little bit, these textures are from, from online can be a little bit intimidating because there's lots of stuff looking at looking at gloss maps and specular maps and all that but basically you just want to find the one which runs into your base color which is down here and I'm going to take that and I'm going to plug it into the factor of my color ramp and then I'm going to take the color ramp and plug that into the base color and your default will be a black and white color ramp so I just changed the black into a light blue and messed around you know you, can, you could have oh they're all melting oh no you know you could mess around with that a bit and find what you want then I added a bump map and I've plugged the color ramp. Get this up a little bit here. Um, plug the color from the color ramp into the height of the bump map, and then the bump also goes into the normal of the principal BSDF, which is here. So then you start to get um, this artificial geometry, which, if you get really close, it doesn't look very good, but you can mess around with the strength of that and the distance to make that look a bit better. Then I also added a displacement, and I'm going to plug that into displacement here. So the bump normal is running into the normal of the displacement, and that's in over there. So then <laughs> I've got a displacement modifier, and I just simply added the white marble texture into that by clicking on new one, new um, image or movie, and you come down here and you'll find the textures that you have and I just found that the albedo seems to work best. And then that that texture will now affect your displacement modifier. So you could bring that right up, and it goes a bit too crazy. It doesn't quite look like ice caps. I'll bring it down. I had it at about 0 0.2 or 0 0.3. I thought it would look quite nice. Yeah, so there you go. If you found that useful, please drop a like and subscribe for more and more videos, hopefully short videos, which will give some useful tips. Thanks very much.